Welcome back to Adventures of the Sierra Madre Security Force. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, the Dead Money DLC. Oh, dead money indeed. We're going to just find out how dead this money is, too. Oh. Oh, oh. All right. Well, there's a radio somewhere. Somewhere in that room. Huh. Uh, vending machine installation. Oversaw the street side vending machines installation today, all working mostly because the casino crew was running the show. Finally complained to the chief about the machines. They feel like a company store. We only get a few casino chips with the paycheck, so we can barely buy anything. Uh, Chief says he's not sure the chips were Sinclair's idea. Only if we had any problems with the machines, let him know immediately. Okay, well, it does sound like a company store to me. Search and seizure. After another discussion with the Puesto de Sol crew, told Chief it'd be difficult to enforce the prohibition list, let alone searches. Chief had the gala on his brain since Sinclair had put construction up of the villa more important than patting down the construction crews for liquor and chems as long as they didn't hurt anyone or each other. Got a little hot under the collar, Chief did too. Told me to walk it off. This whole thing stinks. Chief's barely got time for me now. Uh, time for me. Now Sinclair's turning a blind eye to things in the villa because his friend's running the show. Alright. No more parking tickets. Ooh. One good thing about this assignment, no more writing parking tickets. Sinclair's laid out the street so narrow cars can't even come into the villa. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Uh. Uh, resources being what <laughs> resources being what they are, uh, he may not want folks to waste gas uh, coming here. Cuts down on traffic noise too. Chief says it's more than that. Says Sinclair wanted the villa to be reclusive. As long as I don't have to worry about double parking snobs or Chrysler's, uh, yeah, Chrysler's gas hogs clogging up the villa. I could care less. I wonder how he expects folks to get here, though. Seems extreme, even for privacy. A sensor module. Oh, chips. Nice. That's a lot of chips. Nine chips. I don't know if any of the scrap metal or any of this will be useful, but... Where's the dang sensor? I don't know. Ooh, a cosmic knife. Alright, I'm just gonna move on for now. Oh, what happened there? Oh, good. I can just move around this room freely. <laughs> I don't need a CUP. Uh, duct tape. A whole bunch of nothing in here. Vacuum cleaner might be useful. He would just might. If there's like a crafting bench somewhere, we might be able to create a uh, rocket launcher. Ooh. Ooh, coffee mug. Twelve chips. Hot dog, we're gonna hit up that company store. You're like, yeah, give me a 10,000 cigarettes, please. <laughs> Serve them whiskey and wine and scotch. Ooh, this must be the contraband room. Ooh, that makes sense. All right, well. Moving on. Hmm. More chips, please. More chips. At least we're getting something. 
Yeah. Ashtray. Yay. <laughs> oh. That's me there on the table. The disc. My voice. Oh. Can't Duncan. take any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you and that pip boy you're wearing. You're what smart, clever. The key to dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, well. Oh, we got another, uh, play the beast. Play the basement audio log on your hip boy in your dog's cell. Okay, well, that makes sense. Uh. I think you could turn cigarettes into the machines. Mm. All right. Well, I guess that's all we needed from down here. Yep, we got the tape. Now we gotta. We gotta go play dog a message. We need to soothe soothe the savage beast, so to speak. Yeah. That must have been the radio that was uh, giving us the problems in that room. Must have. Alright, there's the... Oh. Oh, yeah, alright. <laughs> I know where I am now. Sorry, folks, it's been like a week or two since we played last. Alright. You load the, load the tape up in the pit boy. What the hell are all these? Don't like this place. Want to go back, back to the base. Or the church. Miss the church. The Please hell? Dog is sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, that must be, uh, oh, these must be the different radio frequencies. Back, yeah. Back the From the collars. Well, that's that. <laughs> All right, well. Dog, back in the cage. What have we here? <laughs> you weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Yeah, Still, me too. Even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or God. perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm and the one around your neck. Oh, I remember this. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. This is right, this is the night kin with two personalities, God and Dog. <laughs> Alright, that, that, that makes sense. I'm voice? the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement, in the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. <laughs> I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame, keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. It's actually a pretty clever character when you think about time. it. Mm -hmm. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Uh... Oh. Science or medicine? 
Uh, in Super Mutants, brain damage is usually the result of prolonged Stealth Boy usage. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog. From <laughs> clever humans. Like you. Do you see these wounds of his? Covering his skin. The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The ah. name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. Oh, and I all get it. I try to do. <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Uh, I was looking for someone with a collar like mine. Where is your collar? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. <laughs> he ate He's the collar. Eager yes. that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below, like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Ah. Uh. How the hell did you or whoever eat one of those collars? They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. <laughs> and if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red... Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside. All right, so he again. ate it off of someone else? And we're trapped here until it goes cold. Uh... If the collar is still active in you, I didn't switch it on. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. Uh... I need to get you out of there. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collar shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. Oh, you're gonna be in and there a while. when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. Ah, okay. Dog is the, uh... Okay, that makes sense. Dog works for, uh, Father Elijah. Ah. Not, uh, not God. Um... If you don't come with me, he'll set off our collars, yours and mine. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man, he has the need to hold on to the past, to the madre. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. Uh... I could order Dog to come with me. I bet he'd obey. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Oh. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. I can't leave till we get through this. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. 
If you weren't expecting me, who are you waiting for? Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. <laughs> Not for long. You'll figure it out. Uh, why do you say I'm the same as the old man? You're not him any more than I'm dog. But that collar around your neck. You're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. <laughs> uh, the old man, what do you know about him? Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. Ow. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, mm. hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like God, you're starting to depress me now. Big empty <laughs> and scorched by the sun. Scorched by the sun? The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus cried. I don't know if he's referring to the Poseidon high. energy thing. Elijah. Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he Arrogance. Uh. What is he doing here? Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story comes to this shining poisonous grail this jewel of the desert dog knows him more than i do dog's always nodding always obeying him because he's weak and hungry and greedy for master's affection so you're the one who knows how i get who how i got so you're the one who knows how i got to the villa yeah of course i know even if i don't see it happen down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Darn it. Then, then Dog comes for you. Drags you here. All right. Uh, so you know the way back. The way back doesn't matter. Try to leave. Try to disobey, and your collar ends the journey faster than you can say, "Begin again." <laughs> You're clever. You'd be able to find a way back if you left the villa. Dog can. I can find the way back if back is where I even wanted to go. Until the old man lets you go. You're going nowhere. This beautiful paradise, with all its toxins and death, it's home. Uh, so why did you bring me here? Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, dog fetches. <laughs> you were in a man trap, and dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When I don't know, but it must have been what happened to Veronica recent before she the cage. Went back to the, uh, oh, that's right. Post. Um, why did you say that? I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is is that it was when Dog was out of his cage, free, hungry. 
He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however, so he dragged you here, you got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Uh, no idea. I was unconscious the whole time. Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. <laughs> ah, forget it. I had other questions. Of course you do. And so do I. Uh, you wouldn't have locked yourself. Uh -huh. These radios, you were using them for signal interference. They were here when I arrived. So I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. More their voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the digestion. Yeah, we were able to hear it. And the alarm outside helps you, helps as well. You're doing. Wait, uh, you're blocking the eavesdropping with the alarm outside too. And the alarm out. And the alarm sound outside helps as well. You're doing? Very good. Yes. It's another layer of white noise to ensure privacy. Unfortunately, it's also acted as a dinner bell for the residents. <laughs> as long as the holographic greeter outside is active, however, I can get by them. The holograms fascinate them. Ghost worship, perhaps. Oh, that's interesting. Or the power of rock music, one or the other. So we can use the holograms to, uh... Alright, that's cool. Uh... Alright. You wouldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key to let you out. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up, so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Uh, if you have the key in there, the old man can order Dog to open the cage. Dog... obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? I can play his voice, yes. I have an audio log from him on the Pip-Boy. You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, <laughs> crush your arms and legs until... Oh, well, until... the shoe has turned, hasn't it? Uh, goodbye, whoever you are. Wait, uh... Calm down, follow me willingly, I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No, I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre, so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. Hmm. I have the power to let Dog out of his cage. I'm going to prove it by not doing it. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place, this place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious 
more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. Hmm, what do you mean? The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. We know they that. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. I have a cosmic knife. I'm not worried about it. Uh... Even if Dog is more helpful, we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Finally. All right, let's get out of here. Very well. Lead on. Uh, God has given you in my footsteps. This perk grants you a bonus stealth as well as the ability to step late. Yes! Ooh! All right, that is way better. All right, I'm happy with that. Well, it took forever, folks, but we finally... Oh, we finally managed to get uh, God on our side. Yes. If it isn't the clever one... What do you want? Uh... What weapons are you good at? Dog is better at the baser instincts than I. I merely have the brain for it. His sinew and muscle are difficult to move consciously. He's always hungry, clumsy, heavy. Uh... I had questions for you. I'm sure you do. Uh, what's Elijah doing here? Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. Heard it. <laughs> uh, that's enough for now. Let's we'll go. See. All right. Well, we finally got uh Yeah, like I said, we got God on our side now. I mean. <laughs> How can we lose? We got God on our side. <laughs> Let it all in. Kill this one before they call others. Ah, the Kazakh knife. Let's do it. Uh... Ghost Trapper. Oh man, he's got like a a bear trap. <laughs> Fist. Comes on supernaturally. Two of them. Oh man. There we go. Cake. All right. Ooh, bear trap fist. I kind of like that. Ah, two of them. You can fix the other one. A bear trap fist. You heard a power fist. Now it's a... Yeah, it is a bear trap on your... <laughs> nice. All right, well, that's that. Pip boy. 
Maybe I'll tear it off your arm, wear it on my neck. Uh, maybe I'll, uh... He'll get you with your bear trap fist. Yeah, <laughs> shut the fuck up, why don't you? Alright, well now that we got him, now what do we do? We better on the back side, I think, and this... Oh, there's a stinking reeking cloud. Now, what does the, uh, what does the quest say? Help Domino, oh, go to Dean Domino at his hideout in the residential district. Okay. Alright, so we gotta go, oh, we gotta go back over to this side. All right, well, I guess it's back we go. I kind of really want to know what's down here, though. Certain death. Oh, what the hell. Fortune favors the bold. You're about to die. Let's go. Heal up. I was going to say, do I even have any healing items? I think I do. We can drink all this dirty water. It's fancy lad, some junk food. Ah! Scared me to death. Can't believe the idiot. Alright, well, I'm gonna need more than that. Take a stim pack, see how that helps. There's gotta be a way around that. It looks like it's only a tiny room. Alright, well, you know, Fortune favors the bolt. Let's go through. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh. Oh, I made it to the other side. Ah. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Reverse digest. Nice. Fixing things. All right, I figured there'd be like a good reason to come in here. Yeah, I'd definitely save after this room. That's not a bad idea. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. Yeah, 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 I know. This is all my fault. Alright, I want to say I thought I saw some cloud residue. Don't get rid of me that easily. All right. Well, we made it through. Huzzah! Now we got our fancy new friend. It's your own fault you're here. Yes, I know it's my own fault I'm here. Hologram? Yep, yeah, that's a hologram we turned on earlier. Let's see if he is obsessed with the hologram. No? Eh, yeah, we'll let God do all the heavy lifting on this one.
Ooh, another bear trap. This can fix the current. Ooh, I leveled up. Level up. Oh, no, no, the other way. Oh, I thought the game froze for a second. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Aha! Level up. Nice. All right, well. Definitely need unarmed and melee weapons. Oh, yeah, we need... Yeah, let's jack un unarmed a bit up. And one in barter. Melee up to 30. Yeah, right. it should be good enough. Oh, darn. I kind of wanted to... I'm going to take this back down. I wanted to up our survival. There we go. Save. Eh, we'll be fine. We'll be just fine, don't you worry. We're down to half already. We're entering poisonous clouds. I don't want to do that section all over again. Yeah, we're going over to a whole new section of town, so. Ooh, we could buy some stuff at the vending Ooh, we could buy bullets. Those require a lot of chips, though. Holy crap. Ah! Return cigarette pack. They taste like copper. Yeah, okay. Those machines feed on Sierra Madre chips. There's codes that unlock other things, too. That's the medical district. Did we miss that before? They taste like copper. Yeah, because I think this is the main entryway. You go. There she is. There he is. Huh. Yep. Looking there. Looking like a big jerk. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, folks, uh, I guess we'll wrap it up here. We got uh, we got God and dog, but mostly God. <laughs> and uh, we're I, I guess we're off to see De uh, Dean Domino next. Yes, we are. All right, so end of the episode. End of the episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and have a good day, everyone. Yeah.